I hope you have enjoyed the advanced protection part of Teams Premium. Uh, in this part, Mark is going to help us understand what are the customizations available on Teams Premium, particularly the meeting um, customization. So let's go and find out how to do that. All right, so now what I'm going to show you is some of the ways in which we can customize uh, the way that uh, meetings look and feel for both your users and, and users who are joining uh, meetings hosted in your tenancy. So I'm going to just jump into the, I'm here in the Teams Admin Center. Uh, I can go to Customization Policies here, uh, and I'm going to edit the default um, policy here. You can, of course, uh, add one uh, and scope it to a different set of users, but for the purposes of purposes of this demo, I'm just going to use this one. Um, so I can come here and I can add a theme. Uh, so for example, uh, if I've, I had a logo, I could upload a, a specific logo that I wanted to use. Um, uh, and if, you know, for example, I could upload a background, I'm just going to use um, this background that I've got here. Uh, and I, I can also change kind of the look and feel of some of the meeting controls that I've got uh, inside of the meeting. Uh, so I can uh, quickly um, preview this um, and take a look to see what that, that's going to look like um from a from an end user uh, experience perspective so a lot of the colors that i've chosen or the specifically the colors that i've chosen here will change you know some of the, the colors that you see uh, inside of that meeting so for example uh, where you know there's a, a colored ring around somebody's um, um, headshot when they're talking uh, or their sorry their video feed when they're talking it, it will be represented in that color and a lot of the, the controls and toggles will also appear um, uh, as that color that you select there. So a really neat way to um, brand teams to your specific um, organizational branding. Um, uh, and we can also um, uh, opt to, to choose or allow the, the organizer to control um, what theme uh, is on. So whether they want to use the organizational theme or the default theme. Uh, and then when we look at meeting backgrounds, um, so uh, if you wanted to, uh, deploy a specific background uh, to the organization. Um, we can add again, um, you know, this is a, a, a meeting background. So when I'm in a meeting, I might have a custom background behind me of, of uh, the office setting, for example, or it might be an office with the, the organizational logo. Um, you can uh, add a, you know, a variety of different backgrounds and deploy them um, through uh, this customization policy. Um, and you can see here, you can add, add up to 50 images, uh, and these images will appear in, in the order that you upload them. Um, interestingly, as well, you know, if, if you want to um, you know, make sure a blur is applied when, when people don't have a background selected, uh, you can control that here as well.